Hi and welcome to the channel. Today we are back at the Rikin to scare ourselves again. Misty at the top today. Conditions are far from ideal as we had quite a bit of rain prior to our visit. <laughs> so expect sketchy riding on steep trails, oh. twisty switchbacks, crashes, oh. and believe it or not, a few achievements. We start with a little bit of a warm-up on the more forgiving trails at the bottom of the hill. This great short and flowy jump line has a few small jumps over the logs and a smallish gap jump towards the end. Pay attention though, as it will be unforgiving if you won't make the landing. We then move up a bit to practice on the steeper sections to get ready for what awaits us at the top. This lovely track has a good combination of little drops, ruts, steepness and tricky corners. Next on our list is a trail called Little White, which we have ridden previously a couple of times. Believe me when I say it, it's quite a bumpy ride today. I've managed to do a clean run from top to bottom last time, but today is quite a different story. Oh. This trail presents quite a bit of challenge. It starts with drops that aren't really rollable. It then transitions into twisty, tight between trees sections and quite routine places. It mellows out towards the end. But as witnessed, I've still managed to cock it up. <sighs> what am I doing today? <laughs> Jesus. We hit one more trail before starting the big climb to the top. This trail is my favorite at the bottom part of the hill. It serves a great purpose as practice grounds before committing to riding trails higher up. Oh, wrong line! It's still quite difficult and presenting quite a bit of challenge without being too mental. Oh. We're feeling ready to tackle the climb. Oh, those climbs are brutal. Oh. Our plan is to find the start of the new switchback trail by using a run called Deer Track as a connector. And? What's the verdict? I was waiting to see what you did. We've decided that this section of the trail warrants a stop to come up with a battle plan how to tackle it. You got a good chance of holding on right until the corner down there and then fucking it up. Yeah, you might be right. There's more corners so that the crashes are going to happen with less kinetic energy. <laughs> You're so optimistic, aren't you? <laughs> Very scientific about it. I think this is a hang off the back and dirt surf it type of approach really, isn't it? It's a bit too steep for getting forward. As per usual, I volunteered myself to be the guinea pig. Well, that's under that control. <laughs> Your favorite. <laughs> it's fair to say that we have greatly underestimated the steepness of this train. After a fair amount of wobbles and what did appear to be a bracken jungle, we finally reached the entry of the track we were looking for. At least we got to do it. <coughs> right, so. Let's hope we can ride this actually. Because <laughs> I, I didn't have a great time last time. 
And with that plan in our heads, we've started our descent. Davin. Fuck, oh, almost. That session this corner, man. I'm sure we can do it. That's it, man. I told you you can do it. Mostly done. So this section of the trail was off camber and ground was given way in places, so you had a constant fear of tumbling down the hill. This trail definitely isn't for the faint of heart. This looks easier than the other one to be fair. That's because the leaves are covering up all the bad stuff. <laughs> Oh, this is tricky, this corner, man. Just steep right in the corner. That's why I crashed. That's it, that's what I meant. You have to shrub. Oh my God, this is slick here. Don't want to fall down this hill. Oh. Having done all the tricky bits on this trail, we were quite looking forward to reach the fire road to have a quick break. Oh my god, that's an adrenaline rush, this one. We've still had a bit left in the tank, so we've decided to head halfway up the hill to ride the old downhill trail. What's the roots on the left? Hell. This was a sign of things to come as I land shortly. <laughs> These roots are sleek today, aren't they? I don't like them roots, man. And they're hidden in the leaves as well. <laughs> <laughs> exactly what I've just been saying to the camera. Do you just really watch where you're going? <laughs> That's exactly why. It's difficult. You can't see them until you're right on top of them. So you can't pick a line looking ahead. Oh, like that. You all right? I wasn't sure if you were about to show me an exposed bone. I was getting a bit concerned. Didn't need to see that before lunch. The crash still didn't discourage me from attempting a trail that I was eyeing for a while. It has a steep roll into a fire road with a sketchy root sticking out. I've stopped to take a look before committing to the roll. 
Yeah, you have. It's just a straight roll. You've got loads of you've got loads of room to stop. Well, having assessed the situation, I've given myself a green light to go. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's a bit of an anticlimax. With the sense of achievement, it was time to call it a day. We've played on a few sections on the way back to the car. We've had a great day and without a shadow of the doubt, we'll be coming here again. So this concludes today's video. If you're looking to test yourself, these trails present plenty of challenge. Have you been to the Rikin? If so, please leave a comment, as I am really interested in other riders' opinion. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing for more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.